picture. If you want to commentate whenever, you can swap in. Um, you know what? Nah, I actually, I have to do something. You, you can keep going. Okay. Yeah, whenever you want to, just tell me and you can sub in. All right, cool. All right, sounds good. We're just going to be rolling it here. Big Wang and Amante are going to keep carrying the commentary. Yeah, carrying the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. It is the snake pick. It looks like we're going to see some good old-fashioned zoning. Especially on people. Yeah, this is, I'm honestly curious to see how this matchup is going to go because Terry, obviously we know when he's able to get in your face, he can put on the hurt really fast. We're already seeing it. a lot of damage built up on Yop Yop immediately, but Snake, of course, with those grenades, he has a lot of options to keep those approaches at bay. Yeah, I think Snake is already a really good pick for this matchup, but Datmi is finding his way in well. I don't know well, what we're really going to see here. Seems pretty even, even though Datmi is winning a few more interactions. Uh, Abad is just slowing things down, or Yap Yap is slowing things down. Even when he does, he's gonna die off the top to up B. Yeah, the great really confirm for Datmi to take that first dodge. He's doing very well, and Go is coming out. We'll see how these power geysers affect the matchup. I'm really interested to see it because. Yap Yap is jumping a lot, and I think Datmi might be able to make some reads. And oh, really good shield Ooh. on that Buster Wolf. Datmi was ready to come in there with that, uh, but go great on Yap Yap to recognize that. Nathan, I think your stream's like a second behind, because you called that out like three seconds late. Just try refreshing real quick. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Alright. 145 to 42. Yep, we're still, we're still in it. <laughs> and a Buster Wolf oh right as soon as we check the percents. You know what? <laughs> Sometimes you just see things like that. The most interesting things happen when the commentators are trying to fix technical issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's always the nature of Smash games. As soon as you call Ooh! something out, the situation can change immediately. And then a shield break! Beautiful! That mean fails to get the punish off his shield break. It looked so good. He had so many chances. You hate to see it, but I think he can keep his momentum up even after that shield break. As I said, that's another kill. We can see a two stock coming from Datmeme here. He's approaching Max Rage and he still has go. Yeah, this is looking really good for him. Definitely not the way I think anybody was expecting this first game to turn out. We're probably gonna have to see a character switch from Yap Yap if he loses this first game. He's... Yeah, that's definitely what I'm imagining, but he's still in this, still down a whole stock, but that's a lot of damage. Yeah, you wouldn't know the people I've seen Yap Yap three stock, even when he's behind. <laughs> It's gonna be super interesting though. Oh, going high. I feel like Yap Yap just keeps going high and Dat Meme catches it with a quick burst of damage. Yeah, I've been seeing that a lot too. It just catching uh, Yap Yap out of the air whenever he can. Dat Meme and using uh, this uh, crack shoot to be able to get in on uh, Yap Yap's defense as well. Just feels like he's getting really overwhelmed right now. Mm -hmm. And I feel like once he got up that stock, he started using a lot of dash attack and things in neutral because he's so willing to take trades. And it just worked out for him so well. Two stocking Yap Yap in game one. Yeah, that's really huge for Dat Meme. I don't think anybody was expecting that's uh, not potential. one we thought we'd see. Yeah, now, this is going to be interesting, too, because as we mentioned before, Yap Yap, probably going to see a character switch coming out from him. But, I think it's going to be to Roy. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see that. I, I feel like the, the, the slower style. pace of Snake definitely not working out for him as well. Yeah, I feel uh, like a character that can play a lot more in your face like Roy. In other set news, Schoonier's Ganon is up 1-0 on Riptide, and Hatter is up... 1-0 on Chuggets. Alrighty. And yeah, the market's moving along, and we see Mezio too. Even though he dropped the first game in Slanslash, he was able to take the set 2-1. to one. He's now moved on to the winner semi. He's going to be fighting the winner of Scooter and Riptide. Mezio just gets those downloads. As you can see, mm -hmm. he's dropped first game both times, and then taking the next two. Sometimes that's just what you have to do. Especially yeah. on Wi-Fi, where there can be some pretty weird play styles. Mm -hmm. And that might be what Yop Yop has to do. He did drop the first game to that meme, but, but no character switch. Oh, he's going to adjust. Yeah, just sticking with the snake. Only a, a costume switch. Feeling comfortable with the character pick. And, and the same, same stage, too. Well. well, he's confident. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Like he knows something that we don't. <laughs> I think he's going to pull some tricks out of his sleeves and that meme will die at 40. I don't know why he's doing this, but he's got to have his reasons. 
Even if he does, it looks like Dat Meme does not care about his reason. At least he could even holding a slight advantage if he can. The one thing that I'm kind of worried about the way Yap Yap has been playing is I feel like he's just putting himself on the corner a lot. It does allow him to get these grenade setups, but I feel like it's also allowed Dat Meme to just apply a lot of heavy pressure just because he keeps cornering himself. Yeah, 100%. I don't really know what's going to happen here. Because it seems really even, and that meme just has to catch a few things, but especially once he has go, he gets going. Yeah, this but... could potentially be a place where he could take the stock, but uh, Yop Yop stuffing it out pretty quickly with that up tilt. Oh, yeah. It's looking pretty good in terms of finding a kill for trapping that down tilt. And there you go. It's going to be another jab, jab, power dunk at ledge. Yap Yap has fallen victim to quite a few of those. That's an easy confirm for Terry and definitely one Dat Meme is making full use of to be able to take these stocks. Still a very even game between these two. Oop. Accidentally going the other way a few times. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> but I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, shoot. Almost a really early kill from Yap Yap. Yeah, that's Dat something Meme is already so coming scary. out of the gates. You gotta be careful about that F-Smash when it starts coming out at the ledge, because that can take stocks so early. Damn you, though, getting the roll read with that F-Smash. Damn is playing way different than a lot of people play against Snake here. When a lot of people get hit, they try to back up and reset neutral and end up getting camped. But Damn just throws out a projectile and runs back into the prey. I don't think Yap Yap is ready for it. Yeah, it definitely seems like Damn Meme, he knows this stuff in this matchup. Definitely a matchup that you need to know. Damn Meme playing it super well right Very now. Very nice combo of the first hit crack shoot. Yeah, he's been doing super good about getting these big confirms, building the damage slowly but surely on Yop Yop. He does have the lead. Oh, he goes for an edge guard. I think he might find another kill ledge next time he puts him there, though. Oh, almost another shield break. Absolute skittle shield for Yop Yop there. Yeah, that's something that he's gonna have to be really careful about is that up close pressure when Terry does have the go available. It's it, we already saw it once and we potentially saw it again. The up tilt from the power really geyser. Both of them are super easy to kill here. Dat Meme has stage control, but it looks like Yop Yop starting to back. Yeah, now I think at this hyper sense too, I think this is the time where Yop Yop's corner strategy is actually coming oh. into more effectiveness. For the second time, Dat Meme has just tried to Buster Wolf at hyper sense and he ends up sacrificing his back and he's holding it down really well. That might cost him the game too. Yeah, it's certainly possible. Still not out of this yet, but now with Yop Yop in the lead, he doesn't have any reason to be coming out of this corner. It's going to be on Dat Meme to approach. Yeah, he's looking very oppressive with grenades and mixing up his recovery super well. Ooh. Yeah, Yap Yap's looking very good here. I think he's finally found out what Dat Meme is doing, and he's just floating away from everything. Dat Meme was going for down tilt at ledge every time, and he was getting so many kills off it, but now Yap Yap just flying away. Oh, almost getting it there, but actually having the grenade break him out. Ooh. This is... I don't know. Oh. That didn't kill. Okay. <laughs> oh. the go is available. Just runs straight into that up smash and gets the kill despite it. Sometimes that meme just goes in for things and it works out well for now, Honestly, that was definitely a very good place to use Buster Wolf. You're caught in the corner. Your opponent is a bit far away. So just close that space and cl get that kill as fast as you can. Right now, Dat Meme's just looking for a lot of F tilt and things too. He's just trying to get his con and get Yop Yop to the percents that he needs him at. Hmm. Yop oh. Yop not making it easy, just running away as much as he can. Dat Meme's putting on damage though, and I think he's willing to take trades because. Oh! Well, that's not a trade, and <laughs> that's the game. 1 1. Yeah, he, we saw him get caught by that two times, just trying to run into. Uh, Yop Yop, but Yop Yop had the uh, C4 place both times, just able to explode it as uh, Dat Meme was running over it. And it was finally able to take that stock and take that game one to one between these two now. Jeez. Well, uh, another quick catch up on the bracket. Schooner 2 0 over Riptide and Ganon. Scoot versus Mezio is starting. Not yeah, the, we see that we got eight. the first match of top eight confirmed. And we're going to be seeing who from this match is going to be the one to make it onto top eight because this uh, is winner's quarters here.
if the TOs are listening, go into those chats, and when top eight matches start, just tell them to wait for streams, since we're streaming most, if not all, that. It looks like Hatter was the one to take it over Chuggets, too, so uh, Hatter's going to be the one moving on to winner's side top eight. And so we're going to see who between Yop Yop and Dat Meme is going to be the one to take on Hatter in the winter semis. Yeah, Mitch, make sure to tell us uh, to play yet. Yeah, we want to make sure we're bringing all the great top eight action for you live on stream. We don't want to make sure we miss any of those matches because they're definitely going to be exciting for sure. 100%. Great. Well, I wonder what we're going to see game three. Players still have to keep adapting. I feel like they're countering each other really well. Something as small as stage choice can make a huge difference here. Mm -hmm. We're sticking with the same characters, Yop Yop, staying with the snake all throughout this set. This is going to be the final game between these two. One, Ooh, on a small battlefield, a lot less space for Yop Yop. To... And right off the bat, we see Dat Meme exploiting that, working his way up to the platform. I think that's going to be the big thing, too. We saw Yop Yop before, uh, just putting himself in the corner, just trying to get these grenade setups to see four going. But if there's not much space to uh, set up in the corner, that means you can just kind of rush him down. Yeah, I think at the end of game two, though, we saw Yop Yop ring game effective. So it might work the other way against that meme when he goes back and goes for those neutral beats. I honestly think the big thing is going to be how even this game is, because if that Mew is able to keep it even or potentially hold on to a lead, that strategy gets a lot less effective. But if Yop Yop's the one with the lead, this can definitely work out in his favor. Yeah, especially when it's even, or if that Mew gets to 100% a little bit before Yop Yop, it seems like he's really good at finding... So we'll have to see how that pans out on the first stop. And here comes the go. <laughs> Yeah, we saw the big damage coming out from it before in the last two games. We'll see if that means going to be able to make use of it. Potentially take this stock. Going all the way up with the Rising Tackle. Yop Yop's going to avoid it. I don't know what's going to happen here. Dat is just waiting patiently on this left platform, not doing much of anything. Kind of yeah. confusing, but I think he's just waiting for his opening. Yeah, at this and point, there it is! Buster Wolf! Yeah, that's definitely a super huge confirm for him. Out camp the person who's trying to camp you. Yeah, I know this is exactly what we're, we were talking about. Dat Meme has the lead in this match, and this is, I think, what he needs to be able to potentially take it over Yop Yop. I mean, last stock, we got shown that Dat Meme is willing to just wait on that platform, throw a few moves out, aggressive, but he walks straight into the mine and sacrifices his lead. Yeah, that was kind of unfortunate, just trying to get in, trying to find those openings, but yeah, I think if Dat Meme is willing to just sit back, and just look for these openings when he can. It can definitely play out too. for him a lot, yeah. Definitely willing Ooh, to take these trades too. That's big damage for both of them, actually. I thought it was only a convert Yap Yap, but that's pretty good for both of them. Oh, a lot of shield pressure too coming out from Batman. I don't know what we're gonna see here. Both of them are really trying to prevent the other one from getting to too high of percents. So I wonder Damien. if they're going to find their desired early kills. Looking for something right there. Trying for the power dunk. Well, Go is back out. That's and Power game. Geyser armors through Snake's hit. That's going to be a stock. Really great play from Dat Meme. And now Yop Yop on his last stock of winners could potentially be falling to Dat Meme, but he's not out of this yet. Yeah, Dat Meme did another one of those power... I, er, not power guys, just Buster Wolf's on shield, but... His next one lands really effectively. He's getting that lead that he really needs to take this set. Yeah, huge damage here for Dat Meme. If he can keep this lead going, even if he drops this stock here, he's in a good position going into the final stock. I mean, I don't even know how long it's going to take for him to drop the stock. He's been very good about controlling his stocks. Oh, it's be more tricky around the C4 too. Definitely a lot more aware of it since it he killed him. Ooh. That's an amazing conversion. Dat Meme is so patient just dancing around Yop Yop's setups until he has time to go in. Yop Yop so close to the blast zone right there, but sending Dat Meme up with the up tilt. Last stock for both of these two. Yop Yop still looking pretty okay, I'd have to say. He's staying up in the air, even though he's at a really high percent, getting some conversions. That's something Meme that Snake can get away with, hit, though. 
Yeah, he's just trying to find these setups right now. Doesn't want to overextend Ooh, too much. Ooh, the jab misses twice! And that's going to be the closer of the set. Burn knuckle. Wow. Well, that's an upset. Dat Meme 2-1 over Yap Yap. Great from Dat Meme. A really dominant first game. And I, like Yap Yap was able to make the adjustments, but Dat Meme right there just played it slow and steady and had no reason to overextend. And it ended up winning him that.